Good morning, DMS. I'm Avery. And my name is Andrew. And welcome to the DMS News Show for the week of February 10th. This month's new root value is February is compassion. Compassion means sympathy and concern towards others. Think of a way you could be compassionate today. Greenwood Little League registration is going on now through March 1st online at www.greenwoodbaseball.com or at player evaluations at Greenwood High School Athletic Barn on Saturday, February 15th and 22nd from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For registration questions, please at, reach out to Nick Schwab at nschwab10 at hotmail.com. Believe it or not, yearbooks are still on sale. The cost is $35. Visit yearbookforever.com to order one. A link is also available at the GMS homepage. If Mr. Dean didn't buy a GMS yearbook when he started teaching, he wouldn't have this picture of Mr. Sun. For this semester, the gym suits will now be $12 instead of $10. If you only need a shirt or a pair of shorts, you will only be charged $6 each. During the month of February, students are asked to not please walk their bike to walk or bike to school due to the weather. Ellis Frozen Yogurt will be here next th Tuesday. February 18th. Remember, each frozen tree is $5. Next Thursday, February 20th, is our annual GMS staff versus the 8th grade girls basketball team fundraiser. Want to see all your favorite GMS teachers battle the 8th grade girls basketball team on the court? Want to see Mrs. Manship and Mrs. Camp lock down defense? Want to see Mr. Reinhardt high-stepping up and down the court with, while playing point guard? Or Mr. Watton's wet jumper from 30 feet? The cost to get in is $3. There will also be a three-point shot contest, a silent auction, and concessions. Hope to see you guys next, there next Thursday, twentieth at the, February 20th at 6 p.m. in the GMS Gymnasium. It'll be awesome. Now let's go to the interview of the week. Top trending GMS roll call, the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody. Hi, my name is Eva, and I'm here with the interview of the week um, with Ms. Serkin. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Excellent. So our first question is, how long have you been teaching at GMS? This is my 21st year. I started teaching here with Mrs. Camp and Mr. Watson in 1999. All right. What's one of the grossest things you have done in Science Club? Um, in Science Club, we dissected some crawdads, and they smelled disgusting. They smelled like death. It was horrible. My uh, third question is, what do you like to do outside of school? I love to go camping. I camp as much as I can. I drag my kids with me um, and just love being outside. What's your favorite TV show and why? Parks and Recreation, my favorite. I love Ron Swanson and Leslie Nope. They're awesome. Um, thank you so much for doing this interview. Now back to the studio. Hello and welcome to Top Trending, where we discuss the latest trends of the week. I'm Ava. Number three, Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie is a famous TikToker. She rose to fame by her dancing videos and collabs with other well-known TikTokers. She has reached 23.1 million fans on TikTok and has 1.2 million likes across all her TikTok videos. She has 6.1 million followers on Instagram right now and her numbers of fans are going up rapidly every day. She also starred in a Sabra commercial during the Super Bowl along with others. Number two, coronavirus. The coronavirus recently broke out in Wuhan, China. Experts think it originated at a food market by a living animal. The World Health Organization has been working to find a vaccination. Many towns in China have gone on shutdown, but that didn't really help to everyone traveling for the Chinese New Year. Only 11 confirmed cases have been found in the U.S. as of February 3rd, and 20,000 people have been diagnosed worldwide. Number 1. Patrick Mahomes the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, led his team to the comeback victory in Super Bowl 50, 54. After being down by 10 points, the team hadn't been to the Super Bowl for exactly 50 years until last Sunday. Along with the MVP he won last season, the Super Bowl win makes Mahomes the youngest player to ever win MVP and a Super Bowl. The only 20, in only 24 years, in eight, 183 days old, he was named Super Bowl MVP. The only other person to win this award under the age of 25 was Tom Brady. Although he is very early in his career, people can already tell that he is going to be one of the best quarterbacks of all time. What do you think? That's all. Have a good week. This is Dominic Williams with Roll Call. This week's question is, if a genie in a bottle granted you one wish and you can't wish for more wishes, what would that wish be? 
puppies because they're cute. I wish that my essay would be finished because I don't want a bad girl. Money? <laughs> uh, I want to pass school. Okay. Yeah. I wish to get A's on all my tests. Uh, I wish I was smart so I can drop out of school. I would wish David Dobrik was my uncle so I could get his money. I would wish for all my students to have peace to be the very best that they could be because I think a lot of times students in middle school are so worked up and keyed up and stressed up that if they could just be peaceful and um, be, that would be my wish. I wish that I could meet Charlie D'Amelio because I want to learn dances. I want to be dictator of the world for one day. Hello, my name is Dalton Hawkersmith, and welcome to the sports update for this week. On Monday, February 10th, the 7th grade girls basketball team will be at Doe Creek starting at 5.30. The 8th grade girls basketball team will be at Doe Creek starting at 6.45. On Tuesday, February 11th, the middle school wrestling team will be at home facing Center Grove Central and Center Grove North starting at 5.30. The middle school swimming team will be at the Greenwood High School facing Center Grove North starting at 5.30. On Wednesday, February, February 12th, the 7th and 8th grade girls basketball team will be at home facing Center Grove Central starting at 5 p.m. The middle school wrestling team will be at Doe Creek starting at 5.30. On Thursday, February 13th, the middle school swimming team will be at home facing Franklin starting at 5.30. My name is Dalton Hawkersmith and that was the sports update.